Sports fans in South Korea are cheering a new generation of competitors. Call them e-athletes. From Seoul tonight, Barry Peterson. These are the athletes of the 21st century. Gladiators with nationwide TV audiences. Names like Emperor or God of Destruction. And screaming fans, a rock star would envy. Their implements of battle, a nimble mind, and two players squaring off on a computer game. The most popular is StarCraft, a war game where players build bases and launch attacks using tactics like reconnaissance or deception that would challenge Napoleon. It ends with one side destroyed. The feeling I have when I win a competition is indescribable. Lee and others call themselves professional athletes playing for one of 12 teams. The best earn hundreds of thousands of dollars and have fans who swoon for an autograph. I like his playing style. I really love him. At home or in the 26,000 cyber cafes, online gaming is a national pastime. So many people play because so many people can. This is the most wired nation in the world. 94% have broadband compared to about half in the United States. But turning pro is not fun and games. At Team LeCaf, they eat here, sleep here, and train from 11 a.m. until 2 a.m., seven days a week. Dedication that leads head coach Jung Ong Cho to predict that someday his athletes will be as well known as A-Rod or Tiger Woods. So parents, if you want your kids to be rich and famous in this century's new sport, you'll have to make those hated computer games the new homework. Barry Peterson, CBS News, Seoul.